Hi there. Uh, today I just wanted to show you the basics of connecting your USB DAC to Windows 10 and or 7. Uh, it should be similar in, in either one and um, there's some probably the most important thing to do is to make sure you read your instruction manual that came with your particular USB DAC. Um, there are instances where you'll need to install the drivers first before you plug in the DAC. Sometimes it's during the process of installing the driver that you plug in the DAC. And in some instances, you there are no drivers uh, depending on the particular DAC that you uh, buy. So um, anyway, what you would do in Windows is right click on the start menu, left click to the control panel. Uh, you'll come into your control panel uh, view and it'll either uh, it may look like uh, this where it's just showing the categories as such and my suggestion is to switch it to icons and then it'll have a little more detail to uh, a quicker detail to what you might be looking for and we're looking for the sound icon or uh, menu here and then you click on that and it brings up the menu and then from here what you're looking for is that the check mark is actually engaged on your particular DAC so in this case the DAC would already have to be installed for you to see it here and if it's not checked then just make click on the column once and you can either set it as default here and you can see default or you can also right click on the column set it as default here so you have there's always more than one way to do something in Windows and it's just knowing how to do it and you can also Google a lot of this to find out further on how to do some of this um, and the show notes will have a much more detail on uh, many things related to connecting the DAC and I highly suggest uh, reading the show notes if you want to learn more about uh, uh, perfecting the connections and getting the best sound. So uh, once you've got the default check mark, you can also, um, I'll click the column again, go to configure. I'm going to have to right share my, uh, my video. I have a limitation on this application. You can test it out. So we'll just go through this real quick. Um, hit next. Make sure it's left and right checked. Uh, there would be no uh, surround because USB uh, DACs, to my knowledge, are strictly stereo left and right. Uh, click Next, Finish. Um, you can also go into the Properties. This gives you some ability to tweak it or set certain uh, uh, functions. So Level, um, ideally it should be at 100%. And if you can adjust your volume through hardware capability, such as an amplifier or the DAC itself, though that in theory that's your best volume to adjust from those devices, other than the software. Uh, but anyway, um, so this is set at 100%, as you can see here, as well as here, and um, then go into enhancements. You want to check disable all enhancements if you're looking for the or trying to get the best uh, sound out of the DAC. Um, also under advanced you'll want to uncheck allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. In theory you want to uncheck that and also the uh, default format you want to make sure that you have your particular uh, capability of the DAC engaged. The, the, uh, bandwidth or I'm sorry the, the uh, sample rate and bit depth um, and so this DAC is set for 2496 and once those are set then um, you're basically done um, with what I can show you here and um, I just highly recommend reading the show notes and googling the additional information if you need to and you're good to go so Thanks for watching.